Around the World in 80 Days is a 1999 cartoon. This originally aired as part of Mickey Mouse Works. I watched it as part of the episode Minnie and Mickey's Big Vacation from uh, Disney's House of Mouse. And the cartoon took up the majority of that episode of House of Mouse. And I have to say, I'm kind of glad it did. I think the whole thing is about 10 minutes in total. And I really adored it. Mickey works at an orphanage and he has this fabulous outfit on, which I think is present in other cartoons, with his scarf and his little cap. Uh, he looks brilliant. And, and he gets a, a note from Ludwig von Drake uh, offering him some money. However, he's only going to get this money if he can prove that he is punctual. And the way he has to prove this is to travel around the world in 80 days, which means he has to not miss a single train, a single boat, he has to stick to this strict timetable and get back within 80 days. And if he proves he can do that, he gets the money. And off he goes with Goofy and they explore different parts of the world. And we have these snapshots of different things, different locations and cultures. Minnie Mouse appears at one point um, as a character, uh, in Goofy's words, that looks a bit like you when talking to Mickey Mouse. Um... And it's really good fun. It's got a whole mix of different things in it. And it really packs in a lot into a really short space of time. And it's full of surprise, actually. It's not completely predictable. Obviously, there are certain parts that are. But there were bits of it that I perhaps hadn't expected. And it goes on a little bit of an emotional roller coaster. And, and I really rather enjoyed it. It's really good fun. I think it's very well animated, the pacing is very good, it let, allows a minute or so to set the scene and then it just dives straight into travelling around the world because, after all, every second counts with this challenge. And I thought it was brilliant. Ordinarily, I don't like it when one cartoon takes up the bulk of an episode of House of Mouse, but I'm definitely making an exception for this one. Really lovely, really soft animation style, really lovely to see. Great mix of different locations, and people and animals, an elephant, and pretty brilliant, the animated elephant plays quite a prominent role, uh, and I enjoyed it. Definitely a really good cartoon and worth watching whether you watch it as part of House of Mouse or on its own.